today's video, I will flip all five pieces of this furniture for a client. And, oh yeah, the mirror. <laughs> First up is to swipe off all that hardware. Next up is a thorough cleaning. So you get a bath, you get a bath, that piece gets a bath, and that one too. All the pieces of furniture get a bath. I gave all five pieces of this furniture set plus the mirror <laughs> a good scrub down with some Dawn dish soap and warm water, wipe the excess soapy water away, and then came back with a clean, damp cloth and gave all the pieces a rinse. I am flipping all five pieces at one time, so this is so much work. And next up is sanding, and I sanded, and I sanded, and I sanded. I did hours and hours of sanding, till I got to the point where I just couldn't sand anymore. It was so much. And then I rinsed the pieces off again with a little jump, shake your booty, jump, jump, shake your booty. It's 105 degrees in Oklahoma right now, so I gave myself a little rinse too and played in the sprinkler. The furniture pieces are ready for painting, but the last step is to tape off the sides of the drawers to protect the sides from some overspray. And this had a lot of pieces, so I did this over and over, but I got all the drawers taped. Next, I prepared myself for all the painting that's gonna happen. To be a good painter, you need to have speed, strength, and flexibility. Okay, now I'm ready to tackle all these pieces of furniture. For primer, I am using Zinsers Ben Shellac Base Primer. The current color of this set is a very orangey color, and I don't want any of that to bleed through because they are going to be painted a very white light color. This set is absolutely gorgeous pieces of furniture, and before anyone gets upset that I am painting these pieces, it is for a client order and she wanted me to do it. So, I painted all of these two coats of the primer, allowing it to dry an hour in between each coat. Spraying five pieces of furniture at one time is a ludicrous idea. I sprayed and I sprayed and I sprayed until my hand ached from pulling the trigger, but after two coats of primer, this is where I'm at. After primer, next up is paint. This is bare paint. The color is called Bleach Linen. This is a color that I use often in my workshop. It is a beautiful creamy white without being too bright, too bold, but it's not quite off-white either. It's just a nice, good white color. I sprayed a couple coats of this bleach linen, allowing it to dry a couple hours in between. I won't show you tons of painting because watching someone paint white on white is super boring. After the paint was dry, I sprayed two coats of this water-based polyurethane by Bear in the satin finish. I know I'm already spraying top coat and it's only a couple minutes into the video, so don't worry, there is more coming and more happening to this piece. We're not quite done yet. I sprayed primer, paint, and top coat on five pieces in one day. By the end, I went a little nuts. <laughs> Now I've done stained glaze before, but this is a reenactment of the first time that I used stained glaze. We're doing a black in the detail on white, so I start by trying to talk myself into actually putting that brush on that gorgeous white paint, and then I finally do it. It's going on. Now it is super hot right now in Oklahoma, so in times like that, you want to definitely work in sections with stained clays. And when you get some of it on, you're going to wipe it off. And then I start to freak out for the first time. I'm like, oh my gosh, it is not coming off and I ruined all that gorgeous white paint. 
at this point, like I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know how to fix it and I'm really freaking out. And then I stopped and I thought and I remembered that I can probably use some mineral, spir mineral spirits to help clean this up more. That definitely does the trick and it saves this piece of furniture. It took me a while, but I repeated that process on all five pieces of furniture. They got dressed up and pretty, so I did too. <laughs> now, because I use mostly water-based products and I added that oil-based stain glaze on there, I let that set for a few days before I came back with that same water-based polyurethane and applied two more coats of top coat, allowing it to dry an hour in between each coat. And then these pieces are almost done. If you've made it this far in the video and you like my content, go ahead and boop that subscribe button. Boop. The client did not want me to change the color of the hardware, so the last step is to put them back on and my work is finished. Here's a quick reminder of the before of five pieces of furniture and... The mirror. <laughs> and here is our after. Yay! I do have a message after the final reveal photo, so make sure you stick around for that. But here is the set completely done. My client absolutely loved and adored how these pieces turned out. The design of this set was just begging to have some kind of stain or glaze to highlight all that beautiful and amazing detail white paint with either black wax powder glaze or stain glaze is one of my absolute favorite looks to do i've had clients ask me to do this look over and over for them on their furniture pieces it is so bold and beautiful yet somehow at the same time very neutral to go with almost any decor i hope you enjoyed this video next up is a message from me Hey everyone, thank you for sticking around after the final reveal. I just want to know if you guys prefer these shorter videos and get to see more of my goofy, quirky side, or do you prefer the longer videos where I go into more thorough detail about the furniture flips? Leave me a comment down below which type of video that you prefer, or even maybe a mixture of both. Also, if there are any videos that you haven't seen on my channel and over content that you would like to see, let me know and I'll see if I can come up with a video for you all. I want to know your thoughts because I want to make sure that I'm bringing you guys content that you want to see. If you haven't already, please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and like and share this video. I appreciate each and every single one of you. That is all I have for you today. Until next time.